Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how do I create row ID of a row in SQL Server. So see right here, for every uh, row, there is a 1 ID, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So total numbers of records are right here, 15. So see right here, it's a 15 row ID. So right here in Oracle database, so this is the record inside the oracle database so see right here this is all row id for every row or one two three four now here after if you want to check the row id so just write add your row now function row number function and you have to execute this query so see right here or row num it's so a column is created and see one two three four five it's all are there so this uh, row num uh, uh, value you can use. So row num from here you can use at here. So see at here it's uh, working fine. But if you use uh, these things in SQL Server, let's copy that and uh, paste it here. Then uh, first to uh, write at here. So table m is called dot emp now here i am getting the error message in valid column row now so add here in microsoft sql server so it's a not supporting row now it's a not supporting the same thing here it's a not supporting so that here i am getting the error message it's a row now it's a invalid column so how do I or uh, how do I get to row num in Microsoft SQL Server? So for this we have to write to uh, three lines of query. So add here write to select a statement and here after row underscore num function. So this is the built-in function so that return big integer value. And here after you have to write over class and here order by so giving giving the order by on emp number and here after as row id row id now here after let's include some more columns emp number and here e name and here after dpt number now from here right from escort dot emp or table so if you execute to this query so see right here one row it's a uh, row id column is created and see it's a unique value for every row so right here for this row one unique value one for this row unique value two so this is the way we can create uh, row id or a row in SQL Server. So SQL Server, this kind of things are not supporting. So that we, we have to use row number function to create row ID. And about the row number function, I already discussed. So I have a row number function over order by it's so necessary and over by clause also required. So in place of order by you can give any uh, column. So I have let's give this time DPT number. And here dpt number is the duplicate order. So if you execute to this query, so see at here, it's so uh, at here for every duplicate or uh, row or uh, dpt number 10. So at here unique row ID 1, 2, 3. So at here for 20, it's all are unique. So row ID must be unique. Yeah. Or here you can write to order by if you want. If a uh, uh, dpt number it's not in order, so here you can give dpt number in order by. So this is the three lines of code to uh, get to row ID in Microsoft SQL Server. So row num or uh, this function not to uh, support it, so we have to use this guy, this three lines of query. After that you can uh, retrieve row ID. 
and uh, you can uh, use by using row id you can filter the records and here so if you don't want to row id or three records so directly you can use the delete statement from here so i hope this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you